What is good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another review. This is not your average sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. And today we're taking a look at the Nike LeBron 8 and the Lakers colorway. Now, before we jump into the review of this sneaker, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you like the content, please leave this video a thumbs up. We recently have passed 1,000 subs and a giveaway will be coming very, very soon. I need to figure out some ways to put that giveaway together so I can give you guys all a chance to, uh, to win the giveaway pretty equally. Really do appreciate you guys coming along for the ride, helping the Not Your Average Sneaker family grow, and looking forward to bring you guys more good content and more giveaways going forward. Now, with that out of the way, let's go take a look at this sneaker and talk some more about the details. Now, the Nike LeBron uh, 8 and Lakers colorway released uh, on the Nike Sneakers app on December 31st. I believe it released the same day as the Bodega Dunks as well as the Jordan 11 Adapts. I do have a review of the Adapts up on my channel. You can check that out by clicking right up above here. And somehow, I was actually able to hit both these and the Adapts via the uh, Sneakers app. So, very, very lucky to have that happen. That never happens. You, you rarely get two wins on one day on Nike Sneakers, but I was fortunate enough to get both of these and the adapts on that same day so i can give you guys a good review of the sneaker and these also did release via uh like foot action champs foot locker and another of other uh, retailers they got these as well so hopefully this review will give you a good idea how these look in hand in case you're looking to pick a pair of these up on the resale market first things first let's take a look at the box so these come in your standard black uh, lebron 8 box with uh, lebron's face on it. you can see that's lebron from when he was younger you have that uh, that lion uh, on there as well which is part of the branding for this one on the top of the box then on the side of the box here you do have lebron 8 right there v1 that's it for the branding you have some nike checks on each side of the box there and the official colorway says court purple university gold and it's a lebron uh, 8 quick strike they had a retail price of 200 dollars and there's the label in case you need to see that the box opens pretty much just like this. It's a standard drawer style of box, so it just slides up. You do have some more uh, printing on the paper there, which is actually pretty dope. Let me see, what is that? That is LeBron doing his chalk toss on the, the paper there. So pretty dope detailing on the paper. And that is about it. Now, let's look at the sneakers themselves. I will start this off by admitting that I was not a big fan of LeBron sneakers when uh, I was a little bit younger when these first released. I want to say these came out over 10 years ago the first time. Not this colorway, just this uh, model in general. Mainly because LeBron's have been a performance basketball shoe and at that time I was not really into performance shoes. I was more into lifestyle types of sneakers at that time. But now that I've become a uh, pretty much hardcore collector, this is a sneaker that I had to actually pick up and I can appreciate this silhouette a lot more. So um, I also picked up the, uh, the LeBron 7 in the Media Day colorway, the other liquor colorway that I released earlier in 2020. And I'll also leave a card to that one up above as well in case you guys want to check out that review after you watch this one. But let's look at some details about this sneaker. So we'll start here at the toe box. You guys can see that leather on that toe box is in really, really, really good quality. It is very, very tumbled and it does uh, have a little bit of a color change to it if you rub it. So it's not finished. It's not doesn't have a gloss to it. It's just a really nice thick cut of leather there on the toe box with a black Nike check there on the medial side of the toe box. You also do have some holes for ventilation along the side here at the medial side. Then here on the lateral side, you do have some fly wire right here in the middle, followed up by another strip of a suede leather right there. Then a big gold and white Nike check that wraps along the back of the sneaker. That's a really dope feature of the Nike LeBron 8s. And you also do have uh, some leather here that goes up along the eyelets that's done in that university gold yellow color. I'm not sure if that is actual uh, real leather or if it's synthetic. You can't really tell because the, uh, the edges of it have been finished. So you, you can't really see if it's real or not. Whereas on the toe box here, you can see that this is actually uh, like a really thick cut of leather right up in there. Then at the rear of the lateral side, you do have some more of that fly wire technology. I believe this is one of the earlier basketball shoes that Nike used that had fly wire. I could be wrong. Again, if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me. Then on the back of the sneaker here, you do have LeBron James' signature right there on the back. 
with a, a Nike check right there in the middle. You also have uh, some University Gold. I believe that's uh, in a synthetic patch as well. Then on the lateral side, finished it up with uh, some more suede up here around the uh, the ankle collar. You have the Flywire branding right there at the, uh, the rear of the medial side. Onto some more Flywire and the other uh, rest of the uh, suede there from the toe box on the front of the sneaker. So looking at the tongue, the tongue right there is primarily in mesh under the white laces. So it's a pretty clean look right there. Right above it, you do have uh, the Lion logo for LeBron. I've never been a really big fan of that Lion logo. I always thought it was a little bit cheesy looking, but that is there on the tongue in purple. Then right below that, you also do have uh, some suede right there on the tongue as well. So a nice hidden touch of suede right there on the tongue. Gives a little bit more of a premium look. Then on the aglets for the uh, the LeBron 8s, these white shoelaces, you do have LeBron and 8 there on the shoelace aglets. Nice touch there. And last but not least, we'll look at the outsole for the sneaker. So purple outsole, uh, some herringbone traction with some other traction patterns right there. You do have uh, some foam exposed right there on the rear of the sneaker. These do have Nike. I think they have Air Max cushioning in them. I could be wrong about what other cushioning they have. They might also have Zoom in there as well. But again, I'm not in. I'm not reviewing the technical details about the sneaker. Just giving you guys a look of it aesthetically. But you can see the the big thick air bubble there at the bottom with the uh, the gold pillars inside of it. And the insole is glued down, so we won't pull that out. But give you guys a look at it inside. It does say on the insole, it says, I'm not sure what that says, but you guys can see the insole there in the camera. And I'll give you guys some B-roll shots of that as well, so you guys can see what that looks like. But you do have uh, pretty much a yellow interior inside of the entire sneaker. Another nice touch too, at the top of the eyelet right there, you do have an eight right there uh, on the eyelet and, and University Gold. That's a nice hidden touch right there. Also another hidden touch on the left sneaker, you do have James right there on uh, ye in yellow. So on the right sneaker there, it does say LeBron in yellow as well. Now these also did come with a spare set of, uh, of purple laces in case you want to swap these out. Nice touch. Lace bag does have uh, some black Nike branding on it in case you need to see that detail. But other than that, details of the sneakers are exactly the same. So. No difference from the right to the left sneaker besides the LeBron James branding on each of uh, on the toe box of each of the sneakers. You guys can see that there in the camera. So that's pretty much it for the details about the sneakers. So let's talk about sizing for LeBron 8. As I, so as I mentioned, I was not collecting performance basketball sneakers way back in the day when these first dropped. So I got these in my true size. I wasn't sure if I should size up, up or down. I'm actually really glad I got these in my true size because getting my true size actually fits me really well. Now I could have gone up to a uh, to a nine. So when I could have gone up a half size in these. And if I did plan to ball in these, I probably would have went up a half size. But if you do plan to pick these up to wear casually, I'd say going to shoot a size should work just fine. Last but not least, let's talk about the resale value for this sneaker. So out the gate, similar to how the LeBron 7 Media Days were, these don't have a ton of resale value, which is fine. Again, it's a performance basketball shoe. It's not like a re-release of an of a old colorway. It's a whole new colorway. So I wouldn't expect these to have a whole lot of a bang out the gate. But if the Lakers do win a championship and LeBron ends up retiring with the Lakers, I can see any uh, Lakers themed LeBron that he releases during this time to have a ton of value down the road. So for me, I'm a Laker fan. I'm originally from LA and I do plan to keep these in my collection as a Laker fan and as a fan of the sneaker in general. As I mentioned, my appreciation for the LeBron 8 motto has increased over time. I think it's actually a really nice looking sneaker. You probably wouldn't be able to wear this too casually, maybe with like some joggers or some sweats, something like that. But otherwise, not a bad looking sneaker overall. That's gonna do it for most of the major details about the LeBron 8 and the Lakers colorway. Let's go ahead and get these both loosened up, get them on feet and show you guys how they look. Well, that's going to do it for my review of the LeBron 8 Lakers. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker uh, down below. I know a lot of people that are not Lakers fans probably will pass on the sneaker, but if you're a LeBron fan or a Lakers fan, 
I think that this is one that you should probably grab in your collection. And I actually like these a little bit better than the Media Day LeBron 7s that dropped before because those came out like in mismatching colors. But these both being purple and yellow, I think that these would be a lot easier to wear on a more regular basis. I probably won't break these out all the time. Maybe if I'm wearing like some Laker gear or something like that. But overall, really nice sneaker really nice materials and one that I'm really happy is able to pick up for retail. But nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about uh, performance basketball sneakers. It seems like Nike basketball is starting to make a really big comeback because they are having some really nice colorways with some uh, some classic models. And this is probably one that's gonna continue that trend going into 2021. So if you guys did wanna grab these, I recommend grabbing these now because I think that these will go up in value over time as I mentioned earlier. Also, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys can be included in any giveaways we have going forward as the channel continues to grow. And really do appreciate you guys stopping by watching my review of the Nike LeBron 8 in the Lakers colorway. This is not your average sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. Again, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on my next review. Peace.